Ever notice how some YouTube videos look so professionally edited and you wish you could do the same? Listen, I get it. I was there too when I first started my YouTube channel. With experience, I've mastered the art of editing and I'm here to help you do the same. Today, we're diving into the world of video editing in 10 easy steps. Not long ago, we made a video about everything a beginner video editor needs, where I covered video editing apps, helpful tools, and must have equipment to make your editing smooth sailing. If you haven't seen it yet, you should should. It's a fantastic one-on-one -on -one guide for beginners who want to become pros. Today, we are focusing on how to edit videos specifically for YouTube. I've got a simple 10-step plan for creating pro-level videos with all transitions and effects, so let's get started. First things first, organize all your video clips in one place. If you shot them on your phone, transfer them to your computer, make sure all your project files are neatly arranged in corresponding folders. Face shots, one folder, general shots, and another I also recommend using the table view to see the file's modification date, type, and size. Name the main folder after your video and create subfolders inside for videos, music, and sound effects. Remember, organization is key to successful and most importantly, fast editing. For the second step, let's fire up your video editor. To help you choose the right one, check out our recent video of best video editors for 2024. In my opinion, the editor you choose should have plenty of learning resources and an active community of users. These learning materials can be in video or text format. The main thing is that they should have all the answers to your questions and help you when you need it. For example, on this channel, we create video tutorials and answer your questions right here in the comment section or in our community tab. So there goes your active community and learning materials. While having access to help is great, you'll still need time and dedication to learn the ropes of video editing and understand the purpose of each tool. That's how you can create truly awesome content. To become a good video editor, be sure to set your goals and don't give up on them, no matter how challenging it gets. And if you're ready to try Movavi and bring your creative ideas to life, check out Movavi Unlimited. Movavi Unlimited is an all-in-one solution that's got everything you need. If you've been struggling with large, unwieldy footage shot on your phone, Movavi has you covered. With its easy-to-use tools, you can effortlessly convert your footage into a more manageable format and even enhance its quality by up to eight times. Movavi Unlimited also includes a powerful photo editor, lets you get creative with video thumbnails, you can crop, resize, apply filters, and add text stickers and frames to your images, creating stunning visuals that will captivate your audience. So if you're tired of the struggles that come with video editing and you're looking for effortless and impressive results, I highly recommend giving Movavi Unlimited a try. And now get ready to have your mind blown, folks. Movavi's got a deal that's too good to pass up. An 80% discount and all the apps in an amazing Movavi Unlimited plan. That's right, you heard me, 80% off. So don't wait, hit the link and get yourself the ultimate video editing and production experience at a price you won't believe. Trust me, this is one offer you don't wanna miss. Once you've opened your video editor, click the Add Files button, usually located in the top left corner of the screen. After importing your videos into the program, you'll see them in the Project Files section. Drag and drop them onto the timeline, take some time to review your footage and pick the best moments. Then drag and drop your favorite shots onto the timeline for editing. It's very important to arrange the story blocks in your video logically and sequentially. This way viewers would be able to follow the story and stay engaged for longer. I don't recommend trying non-linear editing unless you are Christopher Nolan. Always keep the core idea of your video in mind and make sure it all progresses logically. Step four, trimming the footage, picking the right pieces. To focus on the most important parts, you the scissors tool to cut out all unnecessary footage from the beginning and end of each clip. Get rid of those extra seconds when you turn on the camera, adjust the settings, or stop recording. These moments often don't add value for viewers and can be deleted to make your video flow smoothly. This will also make it easier for your audience to watch, and if you accidentally delete something important, don't worry, just hit Ctrl Z or Command Z to revert back. Then start cutting again, removing all the unnecessary bits until you're happy with the video and each shot is in the right place. At this editing stage, don't worry about effects or music. The main goal is to create a solid story on the timeline and then move on to polishing it and adding other elements. The fifth step is all about putting ourselves in viewer's shoes and watching the video, trying to find unnecessary episodes or little mistakes. We need to optimize our video, so it's important to make sure that all parts of the video work together well. When watching your video, ask yourself these questions. Are all the shots unique or is there repetition? Do I really 
you need to keep this shot? If the answer is no, simply delete those extra shots and make your video even more dynamic. Take the sweet time to do this. It will set your videos apart. Your videos will be more engaging for your viewers and hold their attention even better. If you're wondering about the ideal length for your video, a standard vlog or educational video should be between eight and 15 minutes long. This is a good target. Focus on removing any boring or slow paced material without spending too much time trying to fit into the exact length. Remember, editing is a skill that takes practice to master. Don't be afraid to experiment and try new things. The more you edit, the better you will become. Step six, creating a catchy intro. It's important to grab your viewers' attention from the get-go and explain why they should stick around and watch your video. What will they learn? What skills will they gain? Or what will happen during the video. Often people start their videos slowly, leaving viewers confused about what's going on. And this can turn them off and make them switch to another video. That's why it's crucial to hook your audience right from the start so they stay tuned and see how awesome your content is. For the next seventh step, we're gonna move on to adding B-rolls to enhance your storytelling. Ever heard of A-roll and B-roll? Do you know the difference? A-roll and B-roll are two essential types of footage used in video production. A-roll is your primary footage, typically showcasing the main content. For example, in pasta making video, the chef in A-Rolls will demonstrate the dough making process step by step. A-Roll is the main focus for viewers and it carries the most important information. B-Roll, on the other hand, is supplementary footage that visually supports the main content. It can include various video clips, photos, animations, or other elements that help make the video more visually interesting and less stale. B-Roll serves a supporting role and is usually used to add variety and improve the overall viewing experience. For example, in the same pasta making video, B-rolls might show scenic shots of wheat fields or Italian streets to create a warm Italian vibe. All these B-rolls add to the main video, making it more engaging and visually appealing for viewers. To add B-roll, simply drag and drop the clips on top of your main video, but make sure to adjust the volume so that the B-rolls don't just steal the show or just remove their audio altogether. This is an easy way to make your content more pleasant to watch. Remember, it takes practice and creativity to become a great video editor. Don't just stick to standard tricks. Always explore new ideas that make your videos unique and memorable. All right, let's move on to adding effects. Think of effects as the decor of your video. Their job is to visually enhance and complement the content. This might include various stickers, animations, filters, overlays, music, and more, but don't get too carried away or you could end up spending a lot of time creating them only to find that the end result isn't what you had in mind. Start with transitions between your video clips. Choose a transition effect you like, like a fade, and drag and drop it between the clips to smooth out the cut. Next, move on to titles. Choose a font, color, and text style that makes the text easy to read and looks good. In the effects tab, you can also apply filters. Try to experiment with different options and choose the ones that suit your style. Also, check out the stickers, frames, shapes, and special effects. Don't forget to add music and sound effects. Music can significantly improve the mood of your video. If you're downloading tracks from the internet, be careful not to infringe on copyrights. On a side note, video editors always offer both automatic color grading and an option to grade video manually. Modern cameras have excellent color science, so if you shoot your videos on auto, you may not need to worry about color grading. But if something doesn't look quite right, you can experiment with it to improve the overall look, create an atmosphere, and emphasize the vibe of the video. Step nine, rewatching and finding final cleanup. Once you've added all the effects, watch the video again from start to finish to make sure there are no mistakes, all the shots are in place, and everything fits together. One way to make your video more engaging for viewers through editing is to maintain the rhythm and pace of the video. Make sure you've used dynamic and quick transitions, well-paced music, various visual effects, and emphasized key moments with sound. Also, embrace the narrative style of editing. This is a way of telling a story through a sequence of shots, sound effects, music, and other elements. This means that you're building the plot and telling the story of your video not only through the shots themselves, but also through their combination, order, and so on. Basically, it's the editing that becomes the storyteller. All right, let's move on to the final step. Upload your edited video to your channel, and don't forget to optimize the description and tags to make it easier for the algorithm to promote your video. We have a couple videos about uploading the video on this channel, so be sure to watch them to do everything the right way. And now you know how to to 
edit the video from start to finish. Remember to experiment with different styles and effects to give your content a unique twist. And always listen to the feedback from your viewers. Use it to improve the quality of your content because your viewers know exactly what they want. Keep learning and improving and your channel will become more and more successful. Thanks for watching and good luck creating your own successful YouTube channel and see you soon.